Hello, I'm Alan Blackshaw from Herding Together. Welcome back to our regular series of discussions, Essential Reading. This is a series of short videos discussing books that we consider to be essential readings in the fields of community development, strength-based approaches and corporate change. Don't forget to subscribe to the Herding Together YouTube channel to stay up to date with our new video releases. Over 20 years ago, Robert D. Putnam published one of the most important books in the area of social theory, Bowling Alone, The Collapse and Revival of American Community. It's a lengthy work of almost 500 pages. It's a readable study of the decline of community life. It examines how social life in the USA changed over the course of a generation or so and discusses the changes in social connectedness. Using the example of bowling leagues and their decline, Putnam interrogates how people had become disconnected from each other, what the impact of this change was and how this could be addressed. Sadly, over two decades, little seems to have changed. Of even greater concern is that the relevance of this book has to other Western societies. The changes Putnam discusses are equally relevant to Australia and I dare say to England, to Canada, to New Zealand, as they are to Australia and the USA. We seem to suffer from the same problems. We work longer hours, have less time at home. When we're at home, we spend our time largely indoors or in the boundary of our premises. We don't invite neighbours and friends to our house as frequently as we did in the past. Reading Bowling Alone in 2021 is just as illuminating as it was in the year of its publication, 2000. Bowling Alone was one of the first books to examine in depth the issue of social disconnection and its consequences for us as individuals and as citizens. It also examines the importance of reconnecting with each other to create safe and healthy community. In reality, if we're ever to meet the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the first thing we need to do is to reconnect as communities. Bowling alone doesn't only describe the problems, but also investigates how we can reconnect with each other and once again build great community and society. At the heart of the work, is the concept of social capital. In many ways, this book introduced us to the importance of this type of capital. Putnam spends some time in detailing social capital, what it is, the different types of social capital and why it's essential in community life. In short, he says, social networks have value. Just as a screwdriver, physical capital, or a college education, human capital, can increase productivity both in individual and collective, so too social contacts affect the productivity of individuals and groups. In this physical capital is about physical objects, human capital, the property of individuals. And he, then he goes on to say, social capital refers to the connections among individuals, social networks and the norms of reciprocity and trustworthiness that arise from them. In essence, it is the capital generated by social connection that produces supportive, safe, healthy and strong community. Without this connection, such a community cannot exist. Bowling Alone is one of those books frequently referred to by many involved in social change. Community building and placemaking is one of the core and foundational works in the canon of writing dedicated to social change and remains just as relevant today as it was when first published. Of interest are some of Putnam's concluding remarks. In the final chapter, he outlines an agenda for change by social capitalists, that is, those of us intent on creating social capital. Of some interest are a couple of paragraphs about media, where he says, no sector of American society will have more influence on the future state of social capital than the electronic mass media and especially the internet. Talk about prophetic. And a few sentences later he says, let us foster new forms of electronic entertainment and communication that reinforce community engagement rather than forestalling it. I would suggest that during COVID-19 lockdowns and social media and video conferencing technology has had the power to fulfill some of this recommendation and has helped many to retain contact with each other. 
although it can be a two-edged sword and reinforce isolation, it's all about how we use technology. It's power, and it's power to connect us. Bowling alone, unfortunately, is still as relevant as it was over 20 years ago, but provides us with a firm foundation in building great communities. If you haven't read it, source it out. It's an excellent piece of work. Thank you.